My name is Leandro and I will present a fast algorithm for training dynamical neural networks using steady state prior information of offshore oil platform. This work was done by me and my colleagues Bruno Barbosa and Luis Agui. Dynamic models are vastly used in many industrial processes. One example in offshore oil platforms is the use of dynamic models as a soft sensor to estimate some missing measurements. In those oil platforms, there are measurements that are very important for safety operation and for improving the productivity of the plant. One of those information is the downhole pressure of the oil well. However, the extreme operating condition of the sensor lead to failure. Dynamic models can be used to provide this important measure based on information from other available sensors. To build the dynamic models, we can use the black box approach used in most neural network models. To do this, we need data, a lot of data. Obtaining directly from the plant executing dynamical tests or we can gather from historical data. To build a good black, book, black box model, the data should convey good dynamic and static information in a wide operating range. Unfortunately, this is not the case in many practical applications, where the operating points are restricted in a narrow range. Using only dynamical data, the model can show a good performance close to that operating range that was trained for, but a poor performance is achieved when in other operating ranges. To improve the performance, we can use a prior information that conveys better the static behavior of the system. This is called gray box approach, where the model has at least two sources of information, the dynamical data and some auxiliary information. In this work, we consider the use of steady state data from the system that can be gathered from historical data or some prior knowledge of the process. More information about our model and the dataset. As shown in the table below, we use five measurements as inputs, all located in the, in the platform, to estimate the downhole pressure. The steady state data contains 32 static points manually found in historical data. But an important question is how to train a neural network dynamic model using steady state data. This question was answered in this paper by the authors of the present work. The procedure is simple and can be used in models that are nonlinear in the parameters. First, we define a cost function in a B objective approach where JD quantifies the dynamical performance as usual and JS quantifies the static performance using the prior information. The lambda parameter weights the importance given to the static and dynamic performance. By a slight modification in the computation of JS in comparison with previous works, the methodology reduces the computing time from hours to, let's say, milliseconds with similar performance. Uh, see the details in the paper. However, the bioobjective pr procedure did not produce only one model, but a family of models. There is a different model for each value of the parameter lambda. Other question then arises, how to choose lambda parameter? This is called the decision maker problem. How to choose a suitable solution in a set of solutions?
In this work, we propose a decision maker that uses the steady state information by computing the L2 norm from the ETOP solution using train and test data. The results show that the gray box procedure can yield suitable models with good balance between static and dynamic performance, as the one seen in the figure. Despite the proposed decision makers did not achieve the best performance for this problem, they yield similar performance from previous proposals, as you can see in the table. The methodology of including steady state information works well, but the decision maker problem remains as an open question. This work has been supported by the Brazilian agencies, CAPES, and CNPq, and thank you for watching.